It Happens Like This by James Tate. I was outside St. Celia's rectory smoking a cigarette when a goat appeared beside me. It was mostly black and white with a little reddish brown here and there. When I started to walk away, it followed. I was amused and delighted but wondered what the laws were on this kind of thing. There's a leash law for dogs, but what about goats? People smiled at me and admired the goat. It's not my goat, I explained. It's the town's goat. I'm just taking my turn caring for it. I didn't know we had a goat, one of them said. I wonder when my turn is. Soon, I said. Be patient. Your time is coming. The goat stayed by my side. It stopped when I stopped. It looked up at me and I stared into its eyes. I felt he knew everything essential about me. We walked on. A policeman on his beat looked us over. That's a mighty fine goat you got there, he said, stopping to admire. It's the town's goat, I said. His family goes back 300 years with us, I said. From the beginning. The officer leaned forward to touch him, then stopped and looked up at me. Mind if I pat him, he asked. Touching this goat will change your life, I said. It's your decision. He thought real hard for a minute and then stood up and said, What's his name? He's called the Prince of Peace, I said. God, this town is like a fairy tale. Everywhere you turn, there's mystery and wonder. And I'm just a child playing cops and robbers forever. Please forgive me if I cry. We forgive you, officer, I said. And we understand why you, more than anybody, should never touch the prince. The goat and I walked on. It was getting dark, and we were beginning to wonder where we would spend the night. 